Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are doing a new Autodesk sketchbook illustration which is a peaceful moonlight landscape and we are starting off with 2860 into 2880 as the pixel. So let's hop on to step one which is the crucial one, paint the sky. It also looks simple and also I got a recent comment saying how do you blend when I do, it looks so different. So we are going to start off with the base color. Of course we are going to keep in the blue family starting with the darkest shade. We are going to add two more color in between. So just follow that. One of the pro tip to get the exact same color is just take the screenshot use it as a preference and drag the eyedrop one to get the exact shape of color you're going to looking paint for so once we are done adding it we are going to use i'm going to add a little bit more darker shade because i feel like we need to fill up there and we are going to use our favorite blending brush from the artist column and also if you look on the left side look at the flow and strength and the size of the brush make sure to adjust your brush according to it to get that perfect blending so let me know whoever have commented down below like if you follow the exact same strength and the flow is does your blending look exactly like like how I do or I'll make a deeper in-depth video of how to blend color here I'm just going with top to bottom blending smudging all the color in between and just making sure it looks like a night sky with a very peaceful and serene night uh, look so just do it very slowly these clips are in 2x speed so take your time and blend it as slowly as you can let's hop on to step number two draw mount so for the step number two we are going to use very simple font and pen again make sure to look at the size and the strength of the brush before you start any further i'm just going with a very easy free hand here just going a drag of top to the bottom just scribble it around in a very slow way and of course this is in a normal speed i have not made any adjust to this because this is a very simple step so we are going to add the color using the fill bucket and once we are done we are also going to add a lower add a new layer to add this so this layer act as a town layer which is basically it's dark at night so i'm going to add few more element here just a stretch of the corner and also the stretch line again with the help of fill bucket we are going to fill this layer. once we are done adding the color to the layer we are going to use wash brush to do the soften of the edges so i'm going to select the mountain layer as well to give some of the highlight and in depth of the mountain so these are all in 4x speed just make sure you take your sweet time while you blend this out don't go very harsh just follow the exact strength and flow of the brush and also if you look on the right side we do have multiple layers so for example we have a sky layer we have a mountain layer and also we have a town layer so one of the key element of digital illustration i describe in every video is make sure to add as many layer as you want to because if you mess up you can simply delete rather than worrying about what to do next or deleting the entire illustration so let's hop on to the step three which is add c and lights so for this we are going to do with a very simple step that is copy the sky layer inverse it and paste it in a new layer as the seas we are not going to do anything by adding color blending no 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 because we want to be time saving and also make it as easy as i can to bring an entire landscape in one shot so once we are done add a new layer for the town layer and we are using glow pen to actually keep these tiny dots as we go by so it's just look like a tiny houses from a distance and the light is up and the sun has said moon is coming out and it is a beautiful full moon day and we are just going to enjoy the serene beauty of the entire landscape as it comes to an end also make sure to add a new layer beneath the town layer and reduce the opacity or once you are done with adding the reflection of the light add a uh, just reduce the opacity of the layer so let's hop on to step four that is paint the clouds for this 
layer make sure to add a new one and also we are using coarse watercolor and we are using exactly the mountain color we are just doing a scattered cloud rather than the fluffy cloud which is a heavy version which i always use and we are going to use a wash brush to smudge this around make sure to follow the strength flow and the size of the brush as you blend this across and also i am doing first by smudging the edge and then following up by the inner side of the cloud to give it in a small circular motion and then bring it all the way up to the edge so we are going to repeat the same for rest of the sky as you look and also this is in the 4x bed make sure you take your time and slowly do it as along do as you like so if you ask me one of the most common question how blending happens it is always about the stylus you're using it is always a tablet you're using for mine it is apple first gen and also uh, it is uh, apple sixth generation ipad so i'm i've added another layer to add the highlight and i'm using again coarse watercolor a lighter shade to give uh, that shine of the moon in the cloud and just make sure you slowly blend this up don't go any Anything stronger there and you can see I'm using hairbrush to bring the edges in a very nice way and also you just make sure to add two layers as for the cloud itself now let's just hop on to step five that is adding grass and boat for this make sure to add a new layer and we are going to start with camo to add that background of the grass once we are done with this we are going to use the help of feathery brush reduce the size of feathery brush and add the tiny tiny grass out of the background of the grass hope it makes sense and once we are done add a new layer for the boat layer for the boat we are using this very simple method using the help of draw style we are using fountain pen select this shade black and we are going to use rectangle add a rectangle with the help of a straight liner add a vertical line of the rectangle and just use the free hand to bring both the edges together once we use the fill bucket to fill the board we are going to add the line or the rope of the board once we are done we are going to use hairbrush to blend it across the boat because i want it to be smoother edge than the rougher edge once we are done we are going to copy the boat and paste in the new layer and as i say look at the right side you will find multiple layer and make sure to add as many layer as you go by and this is actually in the 2x speed so just take your sweet time to blend the color one of the keynote it's always blending it as slowly as you can don't go harsh and as i said it's based on your stylus and the rest and we are i've just reduced the size of the board i have added a new layer copy paste and invert i'm reducing the opacity again i'm going to use hairbrush to slowly bring from outside to inside as if the boat is in the water and we can see the reflection in the water once we are done we are going to add a few more elements in the board like with the help of glow neon pen i'm going to add few kind of a light in the board and also the shadow falling in the sea so let's hop on to step six and the last step that is to draw moon and stars so now we are going to use uh, do the final step with the help of a fountain pen and draw style to draw the circle and fill bucket to fill the moon this is the most easiest step among the rest but of course adding lights is the much easier but moon you need to take some time i'm going to take the darker shade from the sky and add it as a shadow to the moon we are going to use blend brush also please pause and take the time to look at the strength and flow of the brush once we are done blending this like a shadow of the moon we are going to do this very very easy way of making this moon look more realistic with the help of cashmere eraser and the draw style circle so you can see in a second we are just going to take a circle and cut off the edge of the moon and bring this layer all the way beneath the cloud layer so that it looks like the cloud is passing by the moon this looks so realistic and also it just takes few minutes to bring this all together 
Hope you will guys try this and also make sure to attach me in Instagram or tag me along. We are going to use Glow Neon to add the star and then we are going to repeat the same copy paste and we are done for today. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and also let me know which type of video are you looking forward. Did you enjoy today's realistic moon and all this peaceful moonlight landscape. See you all in the next one. Till then, take care. Have a fantastic life. Enjoy each and every day and you deserve it. Till then, bye bye.